Folks, so in this video, I'm going to install the Peerless Assassin 120 SE. This is by Thermal Right. We'll go ahead and uh, at least show you CPU cooler. We're going to take this uh, tape off the bottom. Now, you'll probably want to clean that off, uh, get the adhesive off. So, first things, folks, got to open up our box here. I think I pulled it out already of the box, but uh, there is thermal paste here that we're going to need in a little bit. And that's the one that you're not going to see here. Okay. So, two backing plates here. You want the one that says LGA 1700 for this video. Now, if you were doing a 1151 build or 1200, you use the other backing plate. All right, so first step would be to take this tape off. All right, so this will stick to the back of the motherboard. I am not going to do that because I will reuse this. Um, I almost said I'll resell this, which sometimes happens. But I think for the most part, until I move into 14th gen, let's turn some light on here, 14th, 15th gen, uh, we will hold on to potentially all of our CPU coolers for that point. Um, and then I'll just, you know, slowly transition out of them. All right. So next thing, folks, is might as well get the uh, directions out for y'all. So there's our hardware kit in case you're missing anything. And they do a really good job on... Uh, their directions, if I remember correctly from looking at this before. All right, so we got the backing plate. We need these uh, spacers, nuts, whatever you want to call them. So that's part N, all right? N is right there. Interesting enough, you're just going to stick that on top of the, basically stick it on top of the existing hole. So a bit different than Noctua. It's the blue ones, all right? And then there's some screws in here. So we want to open this up and hopefully not lose all our parts. Which I'm so mad I'm doing this uh, compilation video or comparison video, we'll call it. A bunch of different CPU coolers. And I've, a couple times have had problems missing parts. And, you know, when you stick something back in the box, you hope that it will be there later. Or that all the parts will be there later, right? And so, yours truly has not done that every time. Alright. Next step, folks. Will be... I'm going to put these mounting brackets on here uh, with those screws that were in the bag. So... You can tell from the picture, it's a straight bars in here. There's two sets. One is for AM4. That's the uh, the shorter ones, all right? So we want these guys. And then I should have this memorized, but these are only going to go in there uh, one way. Now, before we put those brackets down, we uh, would like our CPU cooler to be oriented a certain way. You can tell this one's pretty symmetrical. But we want it to be oriented this way, okay? So, why did I do that? Well, you could put these in here, here, right? This is a square pattern. Uh, so we don't want that problem. Now, looking at our directions again, folks. Orientation is going to be shown like that. Um, so we want to stick those on top of here and then grab our screws, two screws. And these things are going to slide all over the place. Um, I'll tell you, I, 
This design is kind of stupid. <laughs> now I realize Noctua probably has a patent on this design, a lot of patents on this design, but the way theirs works is so much simpler than this. So hopefully that's going in. Doesn't feel like it is. Yeah, it does not feel like it is moving. Or maybe it is. So this is finally threaded, folks, because uh, you see how many times it's taken me to turn this thing, and we are not even making contact yet. So you're going to keep doing that until it is tight. You probably don't want to go too tight. You never know how good a quality these, uh, these blue spacers are. You could crack them, maybe. Um, so I'm going to stick one of these in. This may be the better way to do this. And this is where you hope that you are putting it in the right orientation, right? Because if you go 180 degrees to this, then you got to go back and unscrew these. And it's like, oh, really? That's happened to me. I don't want to say 100 times, but it might have been 100. So just, uh, you know, getting it in there. Now, it does kind of feel like this thing moves around in here, right? So a concern I would have that this distance between these two, that since it's not a uh, necessarily fixed, we'll say, that there may be an issue later on. Let me try and load those up. All right, so before we put the thermal paste on here, let's just make sure that we can screw these in. And with the tolerances on some of the, we'll call it cheaper Chinese CPU coolers, um, there is a potential, you know, that you won't get the best contact between your CPU cooler and the CPU. And of course there's thermal paste in there, but the thermal paste is really only supposed to fill gaps. All right, so it is, uh, it will line up, which is good. And I actually like, I mean, I like this design, uh, the design of this, I should say. The base plate, not as much. So, you know, why do I not like that? Well, as a manufacturing engineer, the more parts you have, the more issues you're going to have with tolerances. Um, this is the way that goes. All right. Now, thermal paste time. They have included this thermal paste. And I'm just curious what their picture shows. They put a big old daub in there. so And that actually came off pretty easy. Um, so... I like to spread mine out a little bit, folks. Have a little fun with it, but not too much. You don't want to have too much on there. Just enough to fill those gaps. Um, all right, so that is on there. Now we'll go ahead and put this in there. And I see from the bag there's, you know, adapters. So you got two fans. You're going to have to, you could use the adapter if you don't have enough uh, CPU fan headers. I think this motherboard has an optional one, but we'll go ahead and use the adapter for the sake of doing that for the video. Now, there are different colors of this. There is a, a white version, 
there's a uh, version that has ARGB on it. Uh, this one's just going to be the, the boring one. For those of you that don't like a bunch of color uh, in your fans, this is probably the one for you. And yeah, uh, in case you didn't notice, this was a damaged PCIe. Got this motherboard for 60 bucks off of uh, eBay. And it is... Uh, Turned out to be best 60 bucks I've spent on eBay, I believe. All right, so we'll need this in a little bit. Let's get our fans out. Now, all these other parts, folks, you want to hold on to these. Um, put them back in your box. You will need them. Maybe you'll sell this one day. I know personally that... Uh, this thing, this CPU cooler may not be useful for uh, 14th gen Intel. That'd be good for 13th gen. And so we're making this connection here. For 13th gen, 12th gen, uh, 10th gen, 11th gen, 8th gen, 9th gen, I think 7th, 6th and 7th gen too for that matter. All right, so we're going to make this connection too. There, that's good. Now, um, intake side, okay. And so one of these is going to be hidden, so you won't see it. And the other will be on the outside. But you want your fan blades facing the same way. And we want the, uh, the air to go this way, okay. Flow through there. So, this is how we are going to uh, orient these. Like so, and like so, okay? Now, I just dropped all of the CPU fan brackets. And usually, one of the most painful parts of these installations, folks, is the CPU fan brackets. Um, in this case, I've dropped... All four of them on the floor. All right. So we can see this is going to hook in there deep. Um, when they're nice and deep like that, usually they're going to go um, on this furthest away um, surface from the from the tower, and it'll be oriented like that. And then you pull this in there, and boom. Okay. Come over and do the other side. Of course, you could have put both of these in here and then pulled these at the same time. That is possible. Since I've only got one hand. Um, and just make sure that this goes in here good. So that actually is deforming the, the tower a little bit there. So we'll come in, we'll do this one, and I'm going to get that one, pull that in there, and we got one more to do folks, and we'll plug it in. Yeah, I obviously not listening to myself. Okay, and then boom. So they're in there. Now you're going to plug this in, and if this had cool lights on it, I would go ahead and, uh, so you're looking for the one that says CPU fan, and boom. If this had cool uh, fan blade, or cool lights on it, I would go ahead and give you guys a demo of what it looks like, but it is plain vanilla, right? 
but it still looks pretty good. Twirl that around a little bit for you. Now ideally you would line these up so they are uh, centered. This is sitting on top of the ram, so it's a little higher than this one is. Yours may not end up that way though. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.